made in New York City. Factory footage this week is gonna be a little different because everyone's out. Everyone's out today. However, I wanted to show this cool thing that I made this morning. So using an Oculus Quest, it's a you know VR thing. Yeah. You have to make sure we're on top of all this stuff. I know. There is a app where you put in addresses and you save favorites, and you can be teleported to each one. And uh, I use the app and I put in the the different Adafruits. So here is we this are. Some old Adafruit. Here we are at 24 John Street. 24 John Street and, now a hotel. And that's when uh, this was 10, 10 years ago. Uh, this is when uh, we were in the shadow of where the. Um, Freedom Tower is. It wasn't even built. It was getting built. Okay. And we were in a really crummy um, apartment. It was really crummy. Um, Adafruit was one table, and yeah. that's where it started. And then this is this a, this is your workshop I built you. The, yes. Thank you for building me that workbench. Bench. That was wonderful. Yeah. And so that was that was John Street. And then the other one was we. So that got condemned. <laughs> we had to leave. Yeah, it was condemned. I got to go. Um, and now we're here. We went. We then went to 80 Nassau Street, which was a block away. I moved all of Adafruit on a little green cart. Yes. And it allowed us to, we still lived inside of Adafruit, just like we did in the previous apartment. So this is a, a, a shot from 2009. This is so, a little pick and place. A little bit before 2010. I, I you know what I'm doing there? I'm writing an Arduino library. You're writing an Arduino library. We had a pick and place in our kitchen. That's our kitchen. Is that um, the kitchen? This is oh, where yeah. I did the shipping, and this is where the pick and place was. And then I have a little one minute video of Lady Adafruit. This is from 2010 when we had the pick and place. Okay. The tiny one that fit in our apartment. All right, ten years. That fit in the kitchen. I had a cat back then. I had a cat in a small pick yeah, and place. Yeah, so uh, take it away. Lady Ada from ten years ago. It's like a factory up in here. What's going on, Lady Ada? Um, well, I'm making some accelerometer breakouts, and um, I built that tray um, holder last time we did a video. And um, that's because the accelerometers I bought, I couldn't get any in the real. They just didn't have any. I had to buy them in a tray. So... This time we're going to do a pickup from the tray, so why don't you watch the tray over there while I press continue. So yeah, now it picks up from the tray and does the vision check instead of from the feeder. And I'm not a huge fan of trays. I like the feeders a little bit more. Um, but this seems to be working out okay. Right. what it looks like on the screen here. Yeah, and this is the new... Uh, closed loop vision that I, I discovered um, and uh, activated on my machine and it's working a lot better. It's a little slower, but it's a lot more precise. All right, cool. So these will be in the store soon, the accelerometers, yeah. right? we'll have more in stock. Okay. Okay, so that was insane. Um, but that was our kitchen. Look, and then I had to, I had to get this yeah. thing going. So um, after we saved up enough money, we were able to move to where we're at now. And this is 150 Varick. This is where your packages come from. This is some of the photos. This is the, the first part that we got. We had to do a complete build out. And this is it empty. And we had to put in HVAC. We had to put in all the electrical. We had to put in everything. And eventually we got into that area. Then Sandy hit. And then we gave up. Just kidding. We kept going. So now we have about 50,000 square feet. We have multiple floors. And all of this is uh, me from this you place. see, yeah, we now have the machine line uh, on an, on another floor. Um, this is a ten year journey, and I thought it was kind of neat to do this type of made in New York City because everyone's doing these like decade posts and everything, and that's where Adafruit was ten years ago. And just to like tie it all back together, we're only here because you all buy stuff once in a while, and that's why we have a discount code. But um, that's that's our journey. Um, no funding. No loans, no venture capital. We've always invested back into the employees and the company. And uh, thanks for being part of this 2020, uh, you know, you're reflective over the holidays. And that was our 10 year journey. That was from apartment to where we're sitting here. To the future. Right now. And, and I'll say this, when I, and this isn't supposed to be an inspiring, you know, speech no, or anything. No, it's very inspiring. It feels it's, not, it's not supposed to be. Um, if we can do this, this was, if we can do this, and I think almost anything's possible, because this was hard. This was so hard. This was hard, and it's never going to be easy. I do think you have to find what makes you fulfilled, and uh, doing this show and having the community uh, makes us fulfilled. So thank you, everyone, and uh, I'll continue to do more of these flashbacks from uh, 10 years ago where we had a full manufacturing facility inside of a kitchen um, in an apartment uh, down by, you no. Know, Ground Zero. Yeah. It was, a, it, was a, it was a weird time and a weird place to start an electronics company, but I'm glad we did it. Yay. Okay.